Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm glad to have you here. So I made a team based around a tweet Dragon Ball Legends put out uh, yesterday morning. And in that tweet, they had images of these first five Gohans I have on the team. And they asked which was our very favorite Gohan to fight with. In that image, they did not have a sixth fighter. So I slotted in the blue ultimate Gohan here, the transforming one because I needed a six fighter, of course, and he offers some support to be able to make some of these other units more useful. I'm gonna try to use each one of them in the matches you will be seeing, but this is more of a discussion video. I wanna talk about the possibilities of Zenkai's we will be seeing, what the picture meant, stuff of that nature. I'll try and point out some interesting scenarios in the battle as they happen. But the primary focus is to discuss the image we saw. And first off, we gotta say that Dragon Ball Legends loves to hint at new units with their Twitter images. So this had a purpose. And that purpose was to hint at a Zenkai, I believe. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the red one, obviously already has a Zenkai. So he's kind of out of the mix of which units we're going to speculate on. And I want to say another thing. That the fact that Ultimate Gohan was left out of the image, I would like to believe is also a important factor. Because Ultimate Gohan was a key figure in both Tournament of Power and the Majin Buu Saga. So it doesn't really make much sense to me as to why he was left out of the tweet. And that's actually my, my primary guess. I think that we will be seeing a Zenkai for the green ultimate go on. And the reason I don't have the green one on my team is because I've recently showcased him on my channel. And I haven't had a chance to use the blue one for any of my videos yet. So I thought why not bring him instead. He's also much better. I know I have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Zenkai on my team and he can literally win you matches which as he's peeked in the background he's kind of shredding when he does come in. But yeah I, I actually think that the green ultimate Gohan is probably going to be getting a Zenkai and they're kind of just throwing us off the trail with the image they tweeted out. But let's say that I'm, I'm being crazy ultimate Gohan has nothing to do with this. So we take this image at face value. We have in the Kid Gohan a very old unit. One of the first units in the game. Super outdated and some of the most horrible stats for a sparking unit. There is probably plenty of EX units that have better stats than the Kid Gohan. So if anyone's more deserving of a Zenkai on this team it would definitely be the kid gohan he's the one that needs it the most the transforming super saiyan 2 gohan is actually not a great damage dealer but he he can tank rather decently and he also destroys dragon balls when he cover changes so he's got some useful gimmicks in his kit an amazing green card and the ability to lock in on his main ability so he would actually be terrifying if he got a zenkai just uh, sheer power output he would have on that lock-in would be a death sentence for any unit so that would probably be controversial of the Zenkai as possible then we also have the Super Saiyan 2 LF Gohan who's already Zenkai he's he's out of the mix as I mentioned before we also have the great Saiya man after that and I would love to see Legends Road get another Zenkai. I think it's a little premature because before we had Zenkai Trunks, the Zenkai Kid Goku came back for the second time before Trunks came around. And then before Gotenks came around, Trunks came back for a second time. And since we haven't had Gotenks come back for a second time, I, I think it's premature for the Great Saiyan Man 2 to get a Zenkai. But I may be wrong. They may have actually just delayed this 
the Gotenks Zenkai because fusion is so prominent in the meta. If you guys want to take a look at the footage in the background, I'm actually doing a pretty good amount of damage with Great Saiyan Man. I misplay a little bit here, but he, he's putting in some pretty decent work. Back to the topic at hand, uh, we're talking about Great Saiyan Man actually. And my favorite scenario would be for Great Saiyan Man and the Kid Gohan to both actually get Zenkai's. Because, as I mentioned beforehand, he, the Kid Gohan is one of the weakest units in the game. And Great Saiyan Man is a free-to-play unit, so everyone would benefit from this because we could all get him. And the Legend Road team is actually a force. And they're, they're starting to become fleshed out and it's just it's amazing what they're doing with it. So I, I would love if Great Saiyan Man already got a Zenkai. And the LF Future Gohan which was in the image is definitely not getting a Zenkai. He, he just dropped three weeks ago now maybe. And there's no way they're going to Zenkai him already. Um, just another quick note. In the gameplay going on in the background, you'll see I actually brought the Kid Gohan with me. He doesn't have any equipments or anything, but I have a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on my team who is a last standing and hits like a truck with his ultimate once a Sun family member dies. And I also have uh, the future Gohan who goes type neutral after an enemy is defeated. So the gimmick is basically just to have Kid Gohan go down. <laughs> Let's take him out and bring him back with a Zenkai boost. We'll showcase him. But. Back to the topic at hand, I I do think that Kid Gohan is the most likely to get a Zenkai. I'm not that interested in him, I'm not a huge fan of him in that stage of his development. I, I was a huge fan of Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan, but he's gotten enough love, we don't need a Zenkai, another one. Uh, another thing I did actually want to mention, off topic, is related to the last video I made about Shallot. Uh, his base form sucks. <laughs> it's horrible. You you can't switch into him, and if you start with him, you get caught in a combo. You, you're gonna have a big price to pay. So I actually think that they're gonna find a way to Zenkai him, and have that be the solution to his incredibly low stats at the start of battle. But who knows how far that we are from that? We we're still hoping for Super Saiyan God at this point. And um. Yeah, back to- <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked, I'm so sorry. But back to the topic on hand. Uh, yes, we will probably be seeing some Gohan Zenkais. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll definitely be doing a breakdown video for them. I'm not sure if I'll be doing a showcase or not. Uh, I'm saving Chrono Crystals. I like, I like getting new units. I know Zenkais are definitely more powerful and better bang for your buck, but I have more of a collectionist mindset. So that that's my primary focus and that's probably what I'll be saving Chrono Crystals for. And yeah, we're about to finish the match here. Uh, it has a rather nice ending, so I'm just going to let you guys watch it. Uh, thank you for sticking around as long as you have. I really appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see some more content. I'm, I'm really going to try to put out daily content. And I managed to be able to stick to that since I started the channel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy this canon legendary finish.